judge rules Jacob Zuma's court bid against Billy Downer should be held in person. Durban, former President Jacob Zuma has scored a court victory after Peter Maritzburg High Court Judge Pete Cohn on Wednesday morning ruled that his application against the prosecutor advocate Billy Downer be held in person. This means Zuma will leave his Est Court Correction Center cell where he is serving his 15 months contempt of court sentence and travel to court on August 10 to join his lawyers who are arguing Downer should not leave his prosecution for corruption. Zuma and his lawyers are arguing that Downer has acted in a legally and politically compromising manner, thus rendering himself unfit to give the former head of state a fair trial. In opposing the in-person hearing, the NPA argued that Zuma's presence in court could pose security risks and other challenges as his supporters would come and gather outside court. However, Judge Cohn ruled that all parties should come to court instead of having a virtual hearing which Zuma and his lawyers argued was prejudicial to him. The hearing of the plea in terms of S-106, 1, H, of the Criminal Procedure Act 51 of 1977 set down from August 10, 2021, shall proceed in open court at the High Court in Peter Maritzburg. The currently applicable disaster management COVID-19, regulations, particularly those regarding the wearing of face masks, maintaining social distance, and the restriction of the number of attendees at indoor venues must at all times be adhered to strictly the judge wrote in a note sent to all parties. However, the judge warned that his directive could be revoked or amended if an urgent need arises. The directive previously issued on July 15, 2021 is hereby revoked. This directive is subject to amendment at any stage should circumstances arise which make it desirable to do so. Should all go as planned and Zuma appears in person in court, he would be appearing in public for the second time since he was jailed in the early hours of July 8 this year. His first public appearance after he was jailed was on July 22 when he was granted a compassionate leave pass to go home to Gandla to bury his younger brother, Michael Zuma.